Hello and welcome back to Crazy Hank TV and Classic Cartoon Friday. Uh, today we're going to bring out the big guns. Yes, I'm talking about Bugs Bunny. I don't know anybody who doesn't like Bugs Bunny. I love Bugs Bunny. And maybe the reason I love Bugs Bunny so much is because I see a lot of myself in Bugs Bunny. Uh, he's a bit of a smart aleck. He likes to play practical jokes. He likes to have fun with people. And the only thing I guess the difference is I don't have a guy named Elmer Fudd trying to kill me that I know of. But uh, I just love Bugs Bunny. I mean... I would be Saturday mornings, of course, you'd watch Bugs Bunny. And then during the week, in San Diego at least, the local channels would play Bugs Bunny after school. So I'd watch hours, I'd spend hours watching Bugs Bunny. Now, I, I loved how, again, he got the best of Elmer Fudd, Yosemite Sam, the Tasmanian Devil, Marvin the Martian, Wile E. Coyote, and of course, Daffy Duck. The one thing that did bug me about Bugs Bunny was he always kept making the same mistakes with Cecil Turtle. I mean, what what are you, what are you doing, Bugs? Just race to the finish line, then show off and all that fun stuff. But Mel Blank did the voice of Bugs Bunny and the voice of hundreds of others. But when he was doing Bugs Bunny, he would actually be eating a carrot, chomping down on a carrot. And that reminds me, too, when I, how, how many of us as a kid, we all probably did it, when our mom or his parents would give us a carrot, we'd go, ah, what's up, Doc? We all did it. Probably so much that our parents... It drove them crazy. I, I look back and I probably did it more than once or twice. Uh, but anyway, Mel would be eating a carrot, chomping down on it, and we'd have trouble interrupting it. It would be interrupting his dialogue. So we'd have to spit the carrot pieces into a spittoon. Now, well, there might have been an urban legend out there that he was allergic to the carrots, but that's never been confirmed. But that's a story out there that the reason he would spit the carrots out was because he was allergic to them. But if you've ever eaten a carrot, and I think most of us have, they don't chew easily. I mean, it's not something you just chew real quick and, and swallow. So I'm going to lean towards it wasn't. It's an urban legend that he was allergic to the carrots and that he just had to spit it out so he can continue with his character. Let's get to some facts about Bugs Bunny. He was created in 1938 by Ben Hardaway, Chuck Jones, Tex Avery. Love that name. Bob Clampett, Bob Gibson, Robert McKissum. Uh, the first film he was in, our first cartoon, was The Wild Hare. And his partner in life, his partner is Lola Bunny. So there you go. He's, he's done well for himself, Bugs Bunny. His first appearance was as an extra in a Porky Pig cartoon. Then Unnamed Rabbit was created in 1938 for the cartoon in which Porky Pig went hunting. Bugs Bunny's mannerisms were partially inspired by Clark Gable. Bugs' nonchalant carrot-eating manner was inspired by a scene in It Happened One Night when the fast-talking Clark Gable snacks on a carrot while leaning on a fence. <laughs> nice. Creators were worried he would seem like a bully. It's very important that he not provoke, because otherwise he'd be a bully, director Chuck Jones said in an interview in 1998. I, you know, I see it. He, he was kind of a bully, but again, it was mostly like when, it, like they said, he was provoked into doing it. You know, when Elmer Fudd is trying to hunt him and trying to kill him, you know, he's going to do the best he can to stay alive. So I'm only in that he's not a bully. I'm going with that. Bugs Bunny has saved lives. In 1961, Blank got in a serious car accident that left him in a coma for weeks. Eventually, a doctor tried to get the unresponsive patient to talk by asking him, Bugs Bunny, how you doing today? Blank responded in Bugs' voice, What's up, doc? Later, the doctor would say of the incident, it seemed like Bugs Bunny was trying to save his life. And I got to say, there's several episode maybe you can put it in the comment section which episodes of Bugs Bunny are your favorites uh, I like the one where he's he's on the plane and the gremlins messing with the plane and, and it comes down to the just the, the final feet and doesn't crash I love that episode and I also like the one where he's playing baseball where he plays all the positions again I, I hate to repeat myself but I'm a huge fan of Bugs Bunny uh, put in the comment section again what you liked about Bugs Bunny what episodes you liked about Bugs Bunny was it do you think Bugs Bunny was a bully you can answer that question we can agree to disagree but that's basically all I got we'll be back later on next week thanks for watching tell a friend subscribe and share this video bye everybody